Hey, what up, y'all? Recording this one from my cell phone due to my current Wi-Fi issues that seem to be plaguing the channel. I will not be reviewing this past Impact episode just because it was so close to No Surrender. I still got to do my No Surrender review. Hopefully, I'm not doing it for my cell phone, but that may be the deal. I wasn't able to release my No Surrender results, excuse me, my No Surrender predictions because of it. Um, so I'll, when I do review the show, I'll let you know what my predictions were. But as I said, I'm not going to review this past episode of Impact, but I am going to talk about one thing in specific, which was the debut of Ash by Elegance. This was something I was really looking forward to, and I think a lot of people were looking forward to it as well. Because what I've been saying over and over is that the knockouts division is really lacking at the top right now, and we need this gimmick to hit a home run. I was a little concerned last week after they promoted that she was going to speak. I didn't particularly care for this segment just because I don't enjoy the backstage interviews with Gia Miller and the way that they are edited and all the stuff I complain about and that I've been complaining about for years. I just didn't think putting her in that environment was was a smart idea because it just made her look like everyone else on the roster. So I was, I was a little worried about it, but the debut happened, and I will say I was pretty pleased with it. I did enjoy it. I was a fan of Dana Brooke when I watched NXT. Around the time I think she got called up is probably when I stopped watching, um, but I am a fan of hers, so I was very happy for her to come aboard, and I thought the presentation was pretty good. I thought with um, Iceman... Let me rewind a little bit. After last week, I was thinking to myself, the gimmick would benefit from Iceman kind of doing the ring announcing for her, like Alberto Del Rio used to have once upon a time. Iceman has done a little bit of ring announcing for the company, and I thought he did a really good job. Like I, I wanted him to stay instead of Penzer, but he did a good job here. Like this, this fit, he did exactly what I was hoping he was going to do. Actually, basically. Push Jade out of the way. It shows Jade's fr- frustration. You know, after he she won the match, you know, it shows that she's frustrated because he is he is going to do this. But the whole thing, grabbing the hand and walking her around, like I think the presentation's very good. Um, and I thought she looked pretty good in the ring too. She's extremely athletic. She's never really been in an environment where she can show people what she can do. You know, she did the twenty four seven thing and. Uh, really, she didn't win a lot of matches when she was on the main roster. And the NXT run wasn't that great either, the singles run. But when they paired her with Tennille Dashwood, who was Emma at the time, they had some real gold as a team. And then when it went to the main roster, I think there was injuries, injuries with Emma, so it never really played out. And I just never think she found her footing and got her opportunity. But she's extremely athletic, and she showed it here. I never cared for her finisher. That she used to use. You know, Mike Bennett used the same one for Miracle in Progress. And a few wrestlers use it. I've never liked the finisher. So I was pleasantly surprised when she did the Swanton. I think we're missing something like that in in the knockouts division. You know, we used to have Lady Frost doing high-flying stuff. Giselle Shaw can. She's just not. Um, I I do think we're kind of missing that from the division a little bit. So her adding that rather than going to... The finisher she was using before, I think, was great because we're trying to rebrand her as a whole, rebrand the character, and you don't want to tie her into any of that. So I think she she looks like she's fully committed. This isn't like when Taylor Wilde brought the new gimmick and for months and weeks and months, we're kind of like, I don't even think she knows where she's trying to go with this. This seems something like she's prepared for. She understands the concierge is a very, very good addition to it. Um, so even though last week I was a little like, oh, I don't know about this. I was really pleased with it this week. And it's going to be a, a point of the show that I'm looking forward to uh, week by week, just seeing what she does. But we do need this gimmick and we do need her to, you know, to make some major moves in this division and to be a real major player because it's a deep division. So she has opponents, but it just, you know, Bible page is slim at the top and, and she's, she can go a long way towards, um, improving that. And, 
you know, being that she's so athletic and Jordan Grace is so athletic, we might we might get something pretty special with the two of them. So, um, looking forward to you know the future with Ashby Elegance, but I'm I'm very pleased with everything so far. Very excited about it and just can't wait to see what is next. <laughs>